Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you an NFL matchup in the NFC North between the Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions. Now, you look at the Bears coming to this game offensively, they got to utilize a little bit more BSB, guys, which is ball security and balance. That's the key to victory for Chicago. When they have that ball security and they don't turn the football over and they get the balance in the run game to go along with the passing game, the Chicago Bears are a tough team to beat because they have talent throughout that offense. And you look at that offensive line has played exceptionally well. This is going to get a this is going to be a huge test for these guys trying to stop in Kong Su and company, especially Corey Williams in the middle. So your interior offensive line play has to be key this week because you're going to get tested by that defensive front of the Detroit Lions. They caused problems for you guys in week one. So let's see how they do right now in week 12 or week 13 to beat you guys. So that's one thing that's important at uh, week 12. So you have to look at the fact that your interior offensive line has to compete against the interior defensive line of the Detroit Lions. Now you look at the defensive side of the football. Detroit loves to spread teams out. So it's up to your talented cornerback, Charles Tillman, Former UL Lafayette Raising Cajun, former teammate of mine, got to mention that every week because he is one of the dynamic playmakers on that Bears defense. You have to make sure you guys compete in the passing game because what they're going to do, they're going to try to spread you guys out and they're going to isolate Burleson on your interior cornerbacks, your nickel and dime corners. So keep that in keep that in mind as your linebackers drop in their coverage. Briggs and Teal Samoa, um, these guys have to protect that outside and Erlacher has to protect that deep middle in that cover too. So protecting that underneath bubble of your defense is going to be huge this week. So that's the key element of your game that you want to look for. And that's the way you that's way you take away the pressure of the defensive line of getting to the quarterback because you guys have athletic linebackers that can make plays on those short intermediate routes. That's going to have to be huge this week. Now you Detroit coming in, attacking the cover two defense. We say it every week, spread it out. You guys do that well with any team. But it's important this week that you mix in some run with that aspect. You guys have to get nasty in the run game. That offensive line, running the football is an attitude. So you guys have to fire off the football and want to run the football. You got to take it personal if a team says that you're a pass happy, finesse type offensive line. You guys have to take that personal by getting after these guys, firing off the football and beating these guys to the point of attack. Because what's happening, teams are beating you guys to the point of attack in the run game. Therefore, you find yourself in these second and long third and long situations backed up on offense. Also, you want to attack the Bears' uh, safeties in this in this passing that aspect of your game. Take shots deep down the middle of the field. In those in those voids in the cover two, where it's in between the linebackers and safeties, and on the sidelines in between the corners and safeties, they're going to be voids. So it's up to Sean Hill to make plays consistently, hit those open areas in that cover two, and watch you can have some success against the Bears. Defensively, what you have to do, you can't allow balance, guys. If you allow a little bit BSB against the Chicago Bears, guess what? They can effectively beat you guys going away, especially at home. So one thing that's important, guys, force these guys to stick one, stick with one. You will either want them to run the football or you want them to throw the football. I think you guys can stop the run. You can not force Mike Morris to get into a pass happy mode and that's going to play into your, your hands because I, although he, he was getting abused on Thanksgiving Day, I do believe Alfonso Smith is a solid corner and he's the guy that can make interceptions. So you want to put him in position to make those plays by getting pressure, stopping the run, Force Mike Morris in that offense to get pass happy, and that's going to play right into your strengths because I think you guys with Chris Houston and Alfonso Smith and also Delmas back there can make enough plays in the passing game defensively. I'm going with Chicago on the road. Detroit does play well at home. They do have a solid defensive front to put pressure on the Chicago Bears offensive line. But I think the Bears right now have shown the last two or three weeks to be consistent with balance. They're running the football real well. Cutler is not turning the football over. He's making great decisions with the football in the passing game. So I look for the Bears, again, to play sound on offense, and the defense has been solid all year. So I look for the Bears to win in all aspects of the game. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan.